So what's on your agenda this weekend? Is it uh, lake time, family time, golf? Family time, family little time, little fireworks, mm -hmm. little, yeah, a little of everything. Sounds great. This morning, we take you to Waconia and the Carver County Fairgrounds to preview one four-day event. Allie? Hey, Jamie, we've got our 4th of July spirit in action already, and Taste of Minnesota is back for the second year in a row. It started back in the 80s. It was running for 26 years, then took a bit of a hiatus, and I'm joined by Linda Maddox, who is running Taste of Minnesota, and uh, your husband started Taste of Minnesota in the 80s, but tell us more about the tradition of this event. It's always been a family-friendly place for everybody to go on the 4th of July weekend. Um, sit on the grass, eat food, have some drinks, enjoy the music. When I pulled in, I was amazed just at how big the Carver County Fairgrounds are, and you can see the Ferris wheel uh, kind of staged off in the distance, but uh, there isn't just live music. There are fireworks every night for those that decide to come out throughout this four-day right. event, but what is something that uh, for a family that they, if they haven't been here that they might be able to see? Okay, we have a, an actual family or kid zone area. Um, there's a petting zoo, there's pony rides, inflatables, midway rides, um, all kinds of oh, family entertainment. We've got a stage just for the kids. They get the kids out dancing, get the parents involved. Just a family affair. Now, last year you guys were slated to be in St. Paul, but because of flooding, had to move to Waconia at the last minute. So how happy were you with the turnout last year, and what is the goal this year? You know, for the six days that we had to move everything over to Waconia last year, I think it was fantastic. And I think that it will be bigger this year since we've had more time to plan and organize and get the word out that we're back again. What are some of the new traditions that you're starting here now back for the second year in a row in Waconia? And what are some of the old that you're keeping? Actually, we're trying to get back to the actual old taste of Minnesota. So. Um, of course, we have new vendors, different bands every year, but we are trying to keep it traditional, a 4th of July celebration. And for you, what are you most proud of now that it's back for the second year in a row and hopefully continues to last? Well, I guess I felt so fortunate that the city of Waconia actually wanted us back. They were so inviting, the businesses, the, the city officials. It just felt like this is the place to do it, and that's... A special a special thing to me. Linda, thanks for joining us this morning and enjoy your 4th of July holiday weekend. It sounds like it's going to be a great one. Thanks, Ali. You too. So Start back again. Uh, we will. So Waconia is where it's at for this weekend. Taste of <laughs> Minnesota. If you aren't headed out on the lake, you can come out here to the Carver County Fairgrounds and uh, wear your red, white and blue. And we do want to let you know, too, there is a lot of construction heading into Waconia. So make sure to check the roads because there is a detour on Highway 5. Allie, you and I ran into that the last time we were out there. So people <laughs> should take their we time. We did. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> There's been so much added around Lake Waconia, too, in terms of businesses and a distillery and wineries and all kinds of things. Brewery, so out too. There for the day. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Lots to do. <laughs> where will you be watching fireworks this weekend? How about Waconia? That's where Allie Lucia is live this morning at Carver County Fairgrounds for a preview of Taste of Minnesota. It starts today. Allie, I haven't seen you do much eating yet. No eating, Jamie, just drinking right now at least. But there is plenty of food out here. It's a four-day event, and it's a very family-friendly event. But we are going to be talking about beer this morning. Yes, it's a little early to be drinking, I'm aware. But no, it's yeah. never too early. Uh, John Click is joining us this morning. He's the president of Excelsior Brewing Company. And they teamed up with Ecne Brewing Company. Enki. Enki Brewing Company and Waconia Brewing Company, and you guys designed a new brew yes. specifically for this event. We did. So uh, we got our brewers, our three brewers got together, and they decided to do collaboration, and we made a Minnesota Sessionable IPA. So it's called Triad Minnesota Session IPA, and what we did is we used 50% of the Minnesota hops. Our hops are from Minnesota, and we used it in our beer because it was perfect for the taste of Minnesota. So last year, uh, it was kind of last minute that the Taste of Minnesota moved yeah. to Waconia. So when you knew it was coming back, is that when you guys decided to kind of drop the gloves and join forces? Uh, well, we've always been very collaborative. All three breweries are 
you know, very friendly, and that's kind of the brewing community in general. So, but when they decided to come back, yes, and then they approached all three of us and said, would you guys just come and help us with our craft beer building? That At that point, we decided to get together and do the collaboration. This is the second year Taste of Minnesota is back in, yes. in Waconia, so uh, this is a beautiful scene mm. out here on the Carver County Fairgrounds, but what were you most impressed with with the event last year, and what are you hoping to see this year? Well, just how they pulled it together in, what, six days or something crazy like that because of all the flooding and whatnot, so I thought that was great. So it's just going to be even better this year. So the fact that they're also catering to uh, local breweries, local wineries, we gave us our own building for crying out loud, and we've got some great entertainment there. They have a main stage with wonderful acts, and then uh, just the food in general, and what goes better with beer? I mean, what goes better with the food than beer? Yeah. Exactly. So what, what other brews will you guys be serving up here other than the Minnesota Session Oh, IPA? let's see how I can do this. So Enki is bringing their Tail Feather IPA. They're bringing their Cacao Porter. Waconia is bringing their uh, Amber Wheat, or their Amber Ale, and the 50, 255 Amber. And then uh, we have a Minagosa, a Gosa style beer, our Excelsior Pale Ale. And then uh, um, uh, Waconia also is bringing a wheat beer as well, their American wheat. And obviously showcasing all the local brews here, but how popular has this really become? Uh, the beer in, beer in general, I mean, well, for crying out loud, beer's always, beer's been, always, popular. Been, popular. always been popular. But we just, uh, the craft brewing industry in the United States, of course, it's very obvious that it's taken a great, huge leap. And uh, with the new varieties and the brewers getting creative with the ingredients and making new beers and styles, it just makes it a great, great time to be a beer drinker. Well, John, happy 4th of July. Thanks you for too. joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Cheers. So we'll drink, we'll, we'll drink to that. To our independence. So fireworks every night. It's a four-day event, and you do get free admission if you come out here early enough. That's from 11 till 1. But, of course, if you want to drink, you have to pay. Well, cheers to our independence, Allie. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Cheers. This is what we fought for. This is. is the whole thing. I mean, we're crying out loud. Some of the, the, in the founding morning. fathers were home brewers, so... No. That's true. No. It is go. true. So there you go. Oh, well, I great. should point out if you want to go to the Taste of Minnesota, Highway 5, that main road to get in there, it's closed between Victoria and Waconia, but we have detours posted on our WCCO This Morning Facebook page if you want to check that out. I feel like I missed a Samuel Adams joke, but it's too late, so let's move on.